we know we talk about, you know, marriages and growing in your relationships. And we stand for that. Like we are like pro marriage. We are for all of that. But guess what? It's okay to be single too. Amen. And with that said, let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do that over? No, that's actually good. I like okay. that. Like we are the people that are rooting for people to thrive in their marriage. Mm -hmm. We want people to be successful in their marriage, be happy and healthy in their relationship. But we also understand that it's okay to be single. Amen. And Valentine's Day is right around the corner. And oftentimes people sometimes jump into relationships, not because they necessarily want to be in a relationship, or not because they're happy in their current relationship, but they jump into something or they stay in something longer than they should because of the holidays sometimes. Mm. And with Valentine's Day, people see all this love, it's hearts, it's candy, and they think like, well, why don't I have that? I see everyone on social media posting about their man or their woman and what have you, and wow. they, they yearn for that and they get it from someone that isn't deserving of that. Yeah, And so we want to say that it's okay to be single. It's okay to take that time and be like, I know that this is a season where love is in the air. My love is going to be there when the time is right. Right. Um, what can I do in my season of being single to work on myself, to better myself? Um, and as I do all of those things, I'm going to attract someone that is meant to be for me. That exactly. is my person. And you hit on a really important point, not to be in a relationship because the holidays are coming around or right. because you know, maybe your best friend is All in a relationship. All your friends are in a relationship. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing when it comes to marriage, too. Mm -hmm. Like, don't want to get married because of the wedding ceremony. Mm -hmm. Like, some people really do that. Like, mm -hmm. they're getting married because they like the ring on their finger. Or oh, I like see what that. you're saying. Or, yeah. or mm -hmm. because they, they want to have that moment of mm -hmm. that ceremony. Yeah. And But they're not really there for the actual love. They're yeah. not actually there for the actual relationship mm -hmm. or the marriage. They, they're there for the big moments and, mm -hmm. and want to have that special mm -hmm. moment. But those are the wrong reasons. Same thing with Valentine's Day coming up. Those are the wrong reasons. If that's the case, stay single, continue to work mm -hmm. on yourself and continue to, you know, do things organically right. and organic love will come right. your way. And, and that's, was, mm -hmm. that's the, that's the, that's the beauty of, of love, you right. know, letting things happen and mature and develop in its own time and in i think time. and i also think too that society sometimes because you know we talk about relationships and things like that but i also think that sometimes people think that they they have this pressure to be in a relationship mm. and so they um because they have this pressure they're dating the wrong person or they're in a relationship with the wrong person um or People just think that it's, if, if it's single, you must be the problem or something's wrong with you right. if you're single and you're not in a relationship. And that is not true at all. Yeah. Now, some people if you <laughs> are single for good reason. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> so let me do say that. Some people are single for good reason. But oftentimes, especially like I know people and I've heard this myself. I know amazing men and women. Uh -huh. And sometimes when someone hear that this person is single, they say, Oh, well, what did you do? Or, or what's wrong? Like, mm. why does it have to be an issue? Because I'm single. Like, it's okay to also want to fall in love with yourself first, mm -hmm. date yourself, get to know yourself first, because before that's you can, actually what you should do first. And that's what you should do first before you can pour yourself into anything else you have to pour into yourself first and Bars. i think that yes <laughs> because i think that there are times where people don't do that and they're giving so much of themselves to a person like i said that isn't deserving of right. it and it's okay to step back and be like no nah, i'm cool on getting into a relationship right now because the relationship is me i'm in right. a relationship with me myself right. and i and i'm single and i want to find a person or be with a person that is also prioritizing better in themselves so mm -hmm. that when we come into this relationship, we're better together. Exactly. We're better together. So um, I thought that it was a good topic to talk about, you know. Yeah, because, I mean, what we talk about is building relationships. And yeah. that's what we encourage. And we're still encouraging that. Yes. But that's not to say that 
it's a, it's not okay to be single. Right. Like you're not a bad person or a bad partner because you are single. Mm-hmm. It's just that you haven't met your person for you. Mm-hmm. I mean, everybody has a person out there for them. I truly them. believe that. Yeah. I, I believe that. And it's just that you haven't met that person that is aligning with you at that specific time, mm-hmm. at that specific moment. Mm-hmm. And we were fortunate enough to find each other when we were, you were 19 and I was 20, but yeah. we didn't even know it at the we time. We didn't even know it at we, the time that we were each other's person. We so we, we, we were fortunate. <laughs> we were fortunate <laughs> enough to get through those early college yeah. years, and those early 20s. Mm-hmm. And we've come out better and stronger yeah. by developing and maturing right. the relationship and the love and, and letting it happen t- organically. And yes, and it also took us working on ourself too. Exactly. You know what I mean? It was like, we didn't know that. I didn't know that you were my person and you didn't know that I was your person, but we knew that we really enjoyed spending time with each other. But Mm -hmm. we had a lot of things that we had to work on internally before Mm -hmm. we can get to where we are right now. And that is a part of you dating yourself, understanding yourself, being in a relationship with yourself and being committed to doing the work. And and that's, that's actually a good point as Mm -hmm. well, because it's important to have, do that work at when you're single but you can also do that work. Yes. You should do that work while you're in a relationship mm-hmm. too. And that's what the case is with us. I mean, mm-hmm. while we're in a relationship, we didn't know, like we, right. we weren't <laughs> in, in anticipating us lasting past college. We were just enjoying the yeah. time that we were young. We we're like, you know what? Like we work together. Let's, let's, mm-hmm. let's make this work. But w- year one turned into two to three to four. And we're like, hold up, we're, we're actually building something special here. Mm-hmm. And along that journey of us in those early years, while we're working on each other, first and foremost, we're working on ourselves Amen. individually. We're working on ourselves to be better individually for ourselves, but mm-hmm. also as a partner to right. each other. Yeah. And through that development and that maturity through those early years, we were able to get to where we are today mm-hmm. and that's just the beauty of love and right. enjoying the process mm-hmm. and enjoying the journey mm-hmm. and that's what we preach every time exactly. on our channel exactly and just also knowing too like not touching on our relationship but just when you are working on yourself when you are being committed to dating yourself to not allow the smoke and mirrors to tell you otherwise because Oftentimes, especially around the holiday season, everybody's posting their bears, their gifts, their chocolate, their (laughs) designer, their material things, but they're in very unhappy relationships. And so, um, you know, and that might strike a chord with a few people. (laughs) But guess what? It's the truth. Mm -hmm. And people will look at that and say, I wish I had that. But Mm -hmm. you don't know what that person or that relationship is really going to. That relationship is probably holding on by a thread. You just don't know. I would say probably, but there's a... There, no, there, I'm, no could, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying that that, that relationship... That's pessimistic. Okay, well, I'm not trying to be pessimistic, but what I'm saying is that oftentimes we compare ourselves to relationships when we only see a small fragment or a glimpse of mm-hmm. what their reality is. Right. So maybe that's, yeah, we'll say that that's better. Right. And I think that, especially when you are single and you're seeing all of this on social media that can weigh on you mm-hmm. or just, or all of your friends, which you're surrounded by that can weigh on you. And you're like, why am I single? And it's like, you're just in a season of where you are working on yourself yeah. and your person is out there. And when you, when things work and it aligns the way that it's supposed to, then you won't. But yeah. guess what? It's okay to be single. And I think that's at the end of the day, like, cause I wasn't trying to be pessimistic or it's really just me. It's really us saying that it's okay to be single. It's okay to fall in love with yourself first. And right. I think that that's what's most important. And so we hope that, you know, as we're talking about this, you take value from that. And, you know, we want you to be in a healthy, healthy, happy relationship when the time comes. But until then, Work on yourself. Hey, no pressure. No, no pressure. pressure. No just, pressure. Just enjoy life and yes. let things happen naturally. naturally That's the way yes. it should be. Building a happy home. Yeah. Building a happy marriage. Building a happy family. All of those things take day in and day out work. Like yes. you said, it's about those routines. It's about those habits. And building those healthy habits provides you the responsibility for you to pour into your marriage, to pour into your relationship, and to pour into yourself. 